The biggest thing with uh, passive immunity, and that comes from colostrum, is really monitoring the cows, okay? Uh, the cows produce and they scavenge their own bodies to be able to produce and concentrate all that an antibody that's ready made for the calf right after birth. So monitoring our cows, ensuring our cow health, and most importantly, cow nutrition, making sure they have a proper body condition score of five or above, it really ensures that we have good quality and quantity of colostrum that's ready and available for our calves soon after birth. The time frame for, for colostrum for calves is really, really critical. Uh, when a calf is born, it actually has a permeable gut layer, and that allows the big cells uh, like antibodies and white blood cells and fats and all this energy and vitamins and nutrients that the newborn calf needs. That permeable gut starts to seal relatively quickly after, after birth. Uh, so really within the first two to four hours of life, it's really critical to have the proper quantity and quality of colostrum that gets consumed by the calves as early as possible. So as, as cattle start to age, uh, the threats change a little bit. Okay, so uh, their passive immunity that they gain from their mother starts to decline. Okay, so they're starting to build their own immune function. Their immune system's actually kicking in. And as that starts to really pick up and go, uh, this is where it's kind of, we, we have a susceptible animal. They're still on the cow, they're still out grazing, uh, but we start to have this kind of transition through our immune function where it goes from the antibodies they got from their mom soon after birth from colostrum to their their body building their own natural immune response. And that's that critical stage of that takeover for themselves to start really thriving on their own, uh, that there is potential that we can start to develop uh, bovine respiratory disease. And respiratory disease is the number one disease that we really battle year in, year out, through all aspects of production. So it's the ba it's get back to the basics when, it when we start talking about, uh, you know, good quality, helpful, you know, strong, robust immune system. So it's animal husbandry, nutrition, okay, comfort, okay, decreased stressors. All of these are critical aspects to be able to increase immune function. On top of that is maturity, okay. Uh, it takes, uh, actually, to have a fully uh, mature immune system can take up to two years for the bovine animal to reach kind of peak immune maturity, okay. So it doesn't happen overnight. So many times we have to keep in mind, why are we having some of these health insults? It may be due to maturity as well. Now one key aspect that we have at our disposal for management is utilization of vaccines. And vaccines are a challenge to the immune system for the animal to build its own immune response. So it helps mimic natural infection where that animal can respond and already has pre-made memory to be able to respond in the wild if they come, come in contact with a wild strain of some of those pathogens. Now things that hurt the immune function, uh, regardless whether this is a mature cow or a newborn calf, uh, regardless, I, I like to chalk it all up to stress. Okay, and stress takes a lot of different uh, a lot of different forms. We have environmental stress, we have blizzards, we have cold stress, we have heat stress. Okay, all of those are stressful situations on that animal, nutritionally and physically. Okay, so these are things that we all manage to the best of our ability. We help modify the environment to mitigate some of these stressors as much as possible. But then we can also focus on things that we control our management programs, when we handle the animals, how we handle the animals, when we implement some of our management strategies like castration. Uh, those are painful procedures that should be done as early in life as possible. When we make those key decisions and make them for the right purposes, we spread the stressors out over a longer period so that they don't compound on each other. Um, that the other uh, things that can really add in stressors that we don't think about are some of the social stressors, okay? The behavior of the herd animal that are, that are cattle, it's amazing how whenever we uh, distort some of their social hierarchy, that's a stressful situation. So when we co-mingle, when we ship, when we handle, and we have all of these compounding stressors, uh, ultimately that can be really uh, cause some hinder to the immune function of calves. If you enjoyed the video you just watched, consider subscribing to our Angus TV YouTube channel. All you have to do is click the red subscribe button, and when you see a little bell, click that too. Then we'll send you a notification every time we post a video. You'll learn about industry updates, Angus education, and how to become profitable with the business breed. We'll see you on the next video.